It was a hot summer afternoon last August. A woman standing outside this liquor store in Petworth asks a man to buy her some water because she was thirsty. What happened next, according to this police report, unimaginable. The man allegedly slashing the woman in her face and neck with an unknown object, sending her to the hospital. Now that might sound like an assault with a dangerous weapon, a felony charge that can get you 10 years in prison. But that's not the way DC police reported it, instead classifying the alleged crime as a simple assault. Simple assault is a misdemeanor that only carries a maximum of six months in jail. Then, in December, inside this apartment building in Columbia Heights, a night of drinking between a man and his boyfriend ends in domestic violence. The suspect grabbing his partner and holding a knife to his neck while screaming profanities at him. Does that sound like an assault with a dangerous weapon? Or even an aggravated assault, also a felony? Not according to this police report, which shows investigators once again opted to classify the alleged attack as a misdemeanor simple assault. In the end, those police reports showing neither case ended up being prosecuted. So why in the world would MPD seemingly downplay crimes in the district by labeling them as less serious than they actually were? I'm a sergeant for the Metropolitan Police Department, and I'm a whistleblower. These veteran officers say it is all by design, and they have the documents to prove it. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm not going to be silent. WUSA 9 has now obtained the internal police reports and emails Sergeant Charlotte Jassou and Officer Tabitha Knight handed over to D.C. Council last month when they took the extraordinary step of going public with claims some D.C. police supervisors are ordering investigators to downgrade crime classifications from more serious crimes to less serious ones, all to make the city's crime stats look better. In addition to those two assault cases, the paperwork we got our hands on includes evidence nonviolent crimes are being downplayed as well. Just look at this email from an MPD captain in the 4th District. He instructs officers to stop using the classification of theft in the second degree where the value of the property stolen is under $25. Instead, the captain writes, officers should use a charge you've probably never heard of, taking property without right. That's an obscure crime designation which carries a maximum of three months in jail rather than the six-month sentence that could come with a theft charge. Subsequent emails show three separate cases where officers followed that captain's directive, reclassifying theft charges to that lesser known taking property without right charge. In two of those cases, citing a lack of solvability factors as part of the reason. That didn't sit well with Sergeant Joe Sue and Officer Knight, and apparently it didn't sit well with the district commander either, who months later stepped in to reverse that captain's order in another email, discontinuing the classification taking property without right altogether. So why does all this matter, how a crime is classified? It sends the message that this is insignificant. Sandra Jackson is executive director of the House of Ruth, which shelters and advises victims of domestic violence. When we minimize it or we don't say that this is serious, then people may feel comfortable in continuing that kind of behavior. And that is absolutely what we do not want to happen. In addition to lesser penalties for people committing crimes, those whistleblower officers say it's a question of transparency. If you look at MPD's crime data webpage, only the most serious offenses like assault with a dangerous weapon or theft are highlighted. What you won't see are those less serious crime classifications like simple assault or taking property without right. Those officers say that not only skews public perception about how safe DC is, but it also impacts the way the city uses its resources to fight crime. Those two officers who spoke out told council member Charles Allen, who is chairman of the city's committee on public safety, they weren't the only police officers who are upset about crimes being misclassified within the DC police department, but they say they are the only ones willing to talk openly about it. And a lot of times the officers are afraid to come forth and speak up because of retaliation. Right, my staff right here, we're gonna make sure we get connected as well um, so that we can follow up and get some of the information that you have and okay. be able to have further conversations. But more than five weeks later, those follow-up conversations Councilman Allen promised still have not happened. 
according to those two whistleblowers who spoke to WUSA 9 off camera for this report. So we wondered why the councilman responsible for oversight of the DC Police Department hasn't seen these internal documents as more of a priority. But Councilman Allen refused our interview request, much like the department he's supposed to be watching over. DC Police. WUSA 9 asked the DC Police Department to talk to us about its own officers' allegations of crime under reporting, but an MPD spokesman told me they're not going to do an interview with me because they believe I'm not objective and I have, quote, misleading intentions. DC Police never gave us any examples of what they mean by that, but we know that you deserve answers. So we scanned all those internal documents handed over by those whistleblowers and emailed them to MPD headquarters, along with a list of more than a dozen questions, giving MPD leadership another opportunity to explain their side of the story. But despite giving them weeks to respond, the DC Police Department hasn't given us any answers. Leslie, despite not getting an official response from the DC Police Department, we knew it was important to provide some context with this story. So we reached out to our sources within the DC Police Department. They told us while it's not uncommon for more experienced commanders to reclassify crimes they deem less serious, that doesn't necessarily mean there's a department-wide conspiracy to cook the books. DC police officers are trained to use the most serious charge when investigating a crime, and our sources told us it's normal for a commander to review the classification to make sure it's the right one.